2023 Toyota Sequoia Review. Toyota's big three-row Sequoia is new from the ground up for 2023, a reset that includes a new hybrid powertrain, upscale top trim level, sliding third row, and much more. As with the previous generation of the SUV, this one cribs features like design language and suspension from its Tundra pickup stablemate, which was redesigned for 2022. The Sequoia is Toyota's largest SUV and competes against the likes of the Nissan Armada and Chevrolet Tahoe. The previous generation of the Toyota Sequoia was archaic and chintzy. In a comparison of five large three-row 2018 SUVs, it finished last behind the Nissan Armada, partly because the Toyota failed to keep pace with the best in the segment over its 14-year lifespan. It was also slow, saddled with lackluster fuel economy ratings, and couldn't tow as much as its rivals, but it did come with more ground clearance than many competitors. In its new generation, the Sequoia rides many of those wrongs. Fuel economy is significantly improved, and it's full of modern tech and amenities, not to mention, it looks modern, too. In our first drive review of the 2023 Sequoia TRD Pro, we like how it looks the business and that it features plenty of capability but its lack of refinement and price tag were something of a turnoff. Spending more time with the Sequoia in capstone form for our first test, the powertrain continues to impress and third row access is exceptionally easy, but an unsettled ride, mushy brake pedal, and material quality that couldn't match the capstone's price tag makes the Sequoia a tricky recommendation for all but the Toyota faithful. Unless the Sequoia's towing capacity is a must-have, consider the much less expensive Toyota Highlander Hybrid or Sienna for your three-row family vehicle needs. As expected, the 2023 Sequoia is getting the Tundra's 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6 and 10-speed automatic, kicking to the curb a 5.7-liter naturally aspirated V8 and 6-speed auto that have been used since the truck's 2007 model year. But Toyota is skipping the pickup's non-hybrid setup and instead giving its big sport ute the Tundra's available gasoline-electric hybrid powertrain as standard. This system combines output from the V6 with output from an electric motor in between the flywheel and torque converter. At 5.6 seconds to 60 miles per hour, it's more than half a second quicker than the previous quickest Sequoia and posts the best acceleration we've tested in the segment. In this configuration, the Tundra makes 437 horsepower and a 583 pounds to foot of torque, enough grunt to tow, which the Sequoia is outfitted to do when equipped with its available rear load leveling airbag suspension. Towing capacity increases more than 2,000 pounds over the last generation of the SUV to 9,520 pounds and an available towtech package can make hauling even more of a cinch. It comes with a trailer backup guide and a steering assist feature to keep the trailer straight when the Sequoia is in reverse. Like the Tundra, the new Sequoia will be offered in rear-wheel drive and available part-time four-wheel drive. Fuel economy numbers are some of the best in the segment at 19 to 21, 22 to 24 miles per gallon city slash highway, eclipsed only by GM's full-size diesel three rows. For the first time in the Sequoia's history, it receives an available DRD off-road package. The optional package should not be confused with the maximum off-road spec DRD Pro trim level or the Sequoia SR5's available DRD Sport package, which is an on-road performance set of upgrades. To the SR5 and limited 4WD models the TRD off-road package adds a selectable locking rear differential, terrain mode selector, downhill assist control for carefully descending steep grades, and crawl control, which manages vehicle acceleration over low-speed rugged terrain so the driver can focus attention on steering. Further capability is picked up with the package's DRD tuned Bilstein shock absorbers and springs and multi terrain monitor camera system, while a red front axle and package specific 18 inch wheels add panache. The TRD package also includes aluminum gas and brake pedals as well as a red DRD engine start push button. The 2023 Sequoia is equipped with Toyota's Safety Sense 2.5 suite of active safety features. The system boasts standard automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, automatic high beams, lane centering, and traffic sign recognition. Also standard on the new Sequoia but not part of TSS 2.5 are blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic monitoring, and parking sensors. The 2023 Sequoia features a standard 8.0 inch or available 14.0 inch infotainment touchscreen and standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. On the bigger screen or the available digital display rear view mirror, users can look at views from the SUV's plethora of cameras, including a top-down view, rear split view, and trailer hitch view. Toyota is also offering for the first time on the new Sequoia available power folding, extending, and retracting tow mirrors. 
built-in navigation is offered on a subscription basis. Standard second row bench seating or available captain's chairs return depending on trim level, and new this year is a reclining and sliding third row. The last row is previously reclinable, but the new Socorro now also has 6 inches of total range to slide forward or back, which explains the cargo space range below. With the third row folded away, the Sequoia has a new removable shelf system for the cargo hold that can be arranged in different configurations. Although the Sequoia is spacious inside, it's not as gigantic as some of its segment rivals.